east side of Rockford, where the march just began for the latest protest following George Floyd's death. It is the fifth protest put on by Rockford Youth Activism. And we just heard from Leslie Rolf, one of the organizers of Rockford Youth Activism, about how things are going to be a little bit different tonight, Casey. Yeah, that's right. Now, Rolf did comment on grab getting everyone together and talking about how tonight will be a little bit different. Now, he did specify that things are the same as far as getting together and calling for change. He talked about change not only for the, the years that people have been um, have been struggling in this racist society in America, but decades. And now Rolf also addressed the comments from Rockford Police Chief Dan O'Shea last month that he said that juveniles, 16, 17 year olds, 18 year olds are not to be saved. Now, the 13 WREX was at a press conference that Dan O'Shea had yesterday, and Dan O'Shea did say that those comments were taken out of context. So they did, um, the group here, Rockford Youth Activism, commented on that and said that Dan O'Shea, quote, doubled down on his comments to not get an official apology, and they are continuing to ask for his resignation. That's right. And what we heard just before the march began of a press release being put out about potential mistreatment being done by being done to inmates at the Winnebago County Jail by correctional officers. That's the latest that we heard prior to them starting to march and just a reiteration of the demands that RYA has for uh, the community and the city of Rockford, including demilitarizing police body cameras for police officers, as well as calling the community to take action to find more sources of safety outside of police. Again, the march began here. We're going to be following it all night as long as it goes on, but reporting live in Rockford for Cassandra Brettel and Evan Leak 13 News. Back to you in the studio. All right, Evan and Cassandra, thank you so much. It was also